Good morning and welcome back to River Mountain Homestead. I got a third of the roof done yesterday. Got too hot and bailed. Uh, did not get to finish yesterday evening because of the rain coming through, which just broke my heart. But I'm going to get started back on it again this morning. And if I can get another third done today, I'll be happy. Uh, I'm not in a hurry, <laughs> as you can tell. But I'm getting done what I can with the weather that we have. So if I can get another third of it done today, I can knock it out tomorrow. Uh, next weekend is our trip to the East Coast where we go pick up Grandbaby. And then we'll bring him back with us for three weeks. So yes, I will have a co-star for about three weeks after we pick him up next week. He is our oldest. He's four, fixing to be four. So it should definitely be a hoot having him around. Floki was having his way with one of the ladies over there. But I'm going to get started on this roof so I can get knocked out what I can before it gets too hot. And we'll go from there. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to call it a day right there. It's still early. It's only like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, but uh, it is hotter than Hades out here, and I just I can't do it no more. But I got half of the roof on this side, Whew. and I'll start back in on it tomorrow, bright and early, because it was definitely a little bit hotter this morning than it was yesterday, even though I started 30, 40 minutes later than I did yesterday. It is just, it's miserable. There's absolutely no breeze whatsoever. So the air is very stale and stagnant and humid, I guess, from that little rain shower we got yesterday evening. Blah. But yeah, I'll probably just hold on to this video and it's magically gonna start over again in the morning. And just like that, it's Friday morning. Sun's creeping up over the trees, over here somewhere, and uh, it's Friday. Got to knock out the garden tour real quick, and then we'll get back started hanging some roofing. These snake gourds are really taking off and getting some climbing in. Even getting some flowers on them here. 
maybe we can start growing a little snake gourd or two. These are the loofah gourds or sponges, whatever you want to call them. And they are climbing along nicely as well. Tomatoes are doing their thing and being tomatoes, I have pulled, uh, oh, I don't know, probably like three or so that have ripened off. Other than that, there's a few in here turning. One of these days, we're going to have tomatoes everywhere. I see a few in here that are starting to wrap in a little bit. But there's some monsters in here. Look at that Cherokee purple there. This sunflower here is approaching, I'm going to say about the eight foot mark. Because it just keeps going and going and going. Squash is doing great. We've pulled several times since last week as far as harvesting is concerned. And lots of flowers. Harvested quite a few cucumbers. These peppers are doing really well over here. We've harvested quite a few banana peppers. Just loaded out. There's little jalapenos in here everywhere. And we've even got some bell peppers coming on down here now. Some of the fattest little cucumbers. It's like a baseball. Beans are cruising. They're doing well. They need to be harvested again. We just did. <laughs> About a day ago. And all these beans over here are doing their thing. Stevie is doing good. A lot of those beans up there where the corn's at are not looking so healthy. But, and then the corn is slowly coming in through the weeds. But I have shifted all my time away from the garden and to the building, so it's just been hard to try to take care of both. I come out in the gardens every evening and try to do a little bit, but it's just so hot. I can't because I'm trying to get that roof on over there. So, let's go get started on that because that sun is coming over the trees.
And that's about all I've got for a Friday. I think that was seven sheets. That very last one there was what went ahead and kicked me in the butt in between me getting it in place and getting up there to screw it up it actually had slid down about an inch and i didn't realize it until i had about 80 percent of it screwed off it'll be fine i'm just gonna have to flush cut it on this edge to match everything else i've been running a pretty consistent two inch overhang all the way around and that one decided to slide down but it's kind of too late because i've already got all my holes in it and i didn't want to move it and get up pass yeah not getting into that Whew. but that'll give me something to do tomorrow these last four sheets and then uh three ridge cap i went brain dead for a minute and then those three ridge cap will cap everything off i did not screw the bottom or the edges going up the side there'll be trim that comes up underneath that roof and then we'll need to get screwed down so when all that trim gets put on, everything around the edges will get screwed down. But it's warm. It's definitely warm. We definitely made some good headway this morning. But that's about all I've got for today. Should be able to finish this thing out tomorrow as long as everything goes according to plan. Usually never does. But we will catch you guys on the next one.